June Wiskoski is about to undergo a simple procedure to relieve her carpal tunnel syndrome. A little bit. <laughs> I think I'm more nervous about being put to sleep. <laughs> what makes this routine surgery so unusual is that the total price, which comes to $2,750, is posted online. We decided we would have price honesty. Dr. Keith Smith is the anesthesiologist on duty and the co-founder and managing partner here at the Surgery Center of Oklahoma, which is located in Oklahoma City. Three years ago, Smith and his partner started listing their prices on the Surgery Center's website, a move that would only be considered radical in the healthcare industry. It makes me mad that a lot of people are bankrupted by our current healthcare system when when the costs are many times completely unjustified. Let's say June Witzkowski had been treated instead at a traditional hospital nearby. Not only would the hospital have charged more than double the surgery center's price, since she hasn't met her deductible, Witzkowski would have had to pay the lion's share of the bill herself. At the surgery center, the bill was so low that her employer simply covered it. She paid nothing. I like to think of what is done with all of the dollars that are not spent on health care here that would have been spent at one of the big hospitals across town. Witzkowski ended up at the surgery center because she and her employer were directly responsible for paying the bill. If an insurance company was covering it, she would have had no compelling reason not to pick the more expensive option. The surgery center is part of a growing phenomenon of patients and companies breaking away from the traditional health care industry with its distorted incentives and outrageous prices. As Obamacare drives out what's left of markets in medicine, Americans are increasingly turning to providers like the Surgery Center, which show that it is possible to offer high-quality health care at low prices. It's always been interesting to me that in any other business, tons of research is done into making systems more efficient. But in medicine, somehow or another, that is just completely lost. Dr. Jason Sigmund regularly performs procedures at both the Surgery Center and at Integris Baptist Medical Center, which is the epitome of a traditional hospital. It's run by Integris Health, which is the largest healthcare provider in Oklahoma, serving over 700,000 patients a year. Sigmund says the surgery center is so much more efficient than Integris that he can perform twice as many surgeries there in a single day. We have pressures to do that because the amount that we get reimbursed for the same case that they do at the hospital is such a fraction that we're really forced to be efficient. The long-term players in the medical business need to be pushed to a new way of looking at things. Dr. Stan Baker is chairman of the Ear, Nose, and Throat Department at Integris Hospital. Like Dr. Sigmund, he prefers to do his procedures at the Surgery Center of Oklahoma. The place is run recognizing the, the needs of busy surgeons to devote their attention to the important technical details and not have to worry about a lot of other things. And that's, that's what happens here. Except for the clerical staff, every employee at the surgery center is directly involved in patient care. Human resources and building maintenance, those are the responsibility of the head nurse. One of the main reasons our prices are so low is that we don't have administrators in three or $4,000 suits running around and vice presidents at every imaginable level. At Integris Health, the top 18 administrative employees made on average $413,000 in 2010. The wastefulness of traditional hospitals is reflected in the way they bill for their services. We obtained an itemized bill for a procedure performed at Integris Hospital called a complex sinus surgery, which treats chronically infected sinuses. The surgeon was Dr. Jason Sigmund, who also does the procedure at the Surgery Center of Oklahoma, where the total price is $5,885. The bill from Integris comes to more than $33,000, although the actual bill was even higher than that, since unlike the Surgery Center's price, that doesn't cover the surgeon or anesthesiologist. Integris can get away with charging more than six times the Surgery Center's price, because generally its patients don't pay these bills, so there's no real sticker shock. This leads to outrageous markups, such as a $360 charge for a steroid called dexamethasone, which wholesale costs 75 cents, or three charges totaling $630 for a painkiller called fentanyl citrate, which costs the hospital $1.50. They're actually inclined to embrace waste. The more things that are opened up or used at a hospital, the bigger the hospital bill becomes. Although hospitals rarely collect the full amount printed on the bill, Private insurance companies generally pay around 60% of the total, which is still many times what the surgery center charges. Integris justifies its giant bills on the grounds that it loses a lot of money treating patients that don't have any insurance at all. In a statement, Integris said, it is our mission to treat every patient who enters our facilities regardless of their ability to pay, and so our charges must be set at a level to allow us to recover costs. You have turned, Mr. President, the right 
of every American to have access and a decent health care into reality for the first time in American history. Enter Obamacare, which seeks to extend insurance to all Americans so that traditional hospitals can collect money from all their patients. The truth is that this won't do anything to stop exploding health care costs, because when the bill goes to the insurance companies or the government, it inevitably looks like this. Only when patients are responsible does the bill look like this. But companies are beginning to revolt against a system that's eating away at their profit margins. It just didn't feel right when you got a pacemaker bill come in and the charge for that pacemaker was $100,000. It hasn't always been $100,000. Jay Kempton runs a health care administration firm in Oklahoma City that works with companies that pay their employees health care bills directly out of their revenues. Well, now as we've made it a point to, to dig under the surface, we're seeing, for instance, that that pacemaker may be $9,000 and the rest of that is markup. He came up with a simple way for his clients to save money. They waive all co-pays if their employees agree to be treated at the surgery center instead of a traditional hospital. Shortly after Keith and I started working together, it really kind of dominoed. We've had four different facilities in, in our marketplace have come to us and wanted to be able to have transparent pricing that was is for, for cash paying customers. Today, the surgery center is doing brisk business, and Smith and his partners are considering expanding. Now the, the jig is up, and everyone can see what the prices are here. So it robs individuals who have skimmed off of health care dollars. It robs them of their excuse for making sure that patients go to the more expensive places.